happy Sunday, everybody. Okay, I am going to go ahead and show my um, Amazon bin store haul. So I did go last week, actually, not, yeah, last week, um, but it was on a Friday and I only had picked up two things. So that's why I didn't film anything. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did get. And that was on a uh, $8 day. That's when they do the reset, meaning they refill all the bins. And that is the day that a lot of people, especially if they're like resellers, um, tend to go to get all the good stuff, right? So I went after work and um, I did find some stuff, but I, you know, it's $8 a day. I didn't really want to spend a lot. So I only got two things. So the first thing that I got is this, it is a um, lens filter and it's a 52 millimeter um, size. Now I know this brand and I'd seen this before. And I should have actually probably had picked up the one that I'd seen before because it was actually cheaper. Um, although I did spend eight bucks on this, but this is actually, and you can probably wonder why did I get it, right? So it is actually for the solar eclipses. These were selling like crazy on Amazon before the solar eclipse. And I was already thinking about buying one <clears throat> before, but then <clears throat> I had found, excuse me, a cheaper option. So <clears throat> I didn't get it, but, um, you know, I thought, well, for $8, I might as well go ahead and get it. And, um, you know, you can use it for the solar eclipse, but you can also use it for, um, long exposures and it's, let me see if it's going to fit. What's size? Oh, this is a 43. Damn it. Um, I mean, the, I think my 50 millimeter on my DSLR, the nifty 50, I think it is a 52 um, millimeter size. So I could probably use it on that, but I was hoping that it would fit on this, um, these lenses, this, but these are, um, I think the, they are the EFM or the M lenses basically. So yeah, I mean, it's not bad for eight bucks and it's a high quality lens. So, I mean, lens filter. So yeah, I mean, if I see any more, I might just go ahead and just um, get them. You know, and it doesn't have to be necessarily like the um, ones for the solar eclipse. Um, it's always good to have a neutral density filter anyhow. So like I said, you can do long exposures. Um, I have some, but they're not, um, they're not like this. They are, it's an old, old style um, that I had purchased back in the 90s where you had like... Um, the filters, you would just pull it, take out different ones and to put in. I can't even think of the name of it right now. But anyways, um, yeah, so I picked that up and then I did find another one. Well, actually one of these, this is the so, um, Sun by Me. It's just one of my favorite sunscreens. And because I'd purchased this over at, um, before at TJ Maxx and it was $12.99 when I had gotten it. So I got this one for eight bucks and it's, um, it was, it was unopened. I mean, the box was like messed up, but it's not been, um, I think it was sealed. In other words, I think it still is. Cause I don't remember opening it up. Let's see. I think I did actually, <laughs> but it was sealed. Um, so, you know, I just like stocking up on these. I mean, the expiration date on this is, I think is what, 2026, 2027, 2027. So I'm pretty sure I'll finish this before then. But yeah, so I got that. And then today, so I was pretty busy today. I had um, to take my mom, I had to take my mom to the airport because she is going to Australia and New Zealand, which I was supposed to go with her, <laughs> but it didn't work out. So hopefully I will be able to go with her when she goes back again next year. So anyways, I had to drop her off and then I went ahead and went to, um, to bin store number one. I purchased these from bin store number one and oh boy, I, I hit the Korean beauty or skincare jackpot. So today is $6 day. And, you know, I was like thinking it's like, oh, I can come back tomorrow on $4 day. Well, I won't be able to because Sunday I will be pretty busy um, be spending time with my siblings. We're going to have a pool day. It'll probably be the last time that we can do it this year. Um, I know that my brother will probably um, heat up the pool. He'll have the heater on. But yeah. 
So we're just going to go ahead and take advantage of it still being in the 90s and um, yeah, just spend time in the afternoon in the pool. So, um, but I might go to bin store, bin store number two in the morning um, and check it out because I haven't been there in like maybe three or four weeks. So anyways, let me go ahead and show you what I did get at bin store number one. So $6 a day. So I had seen four of these and I picked up only one. This is, um, I think it's Kose. Yeah, Kose. It's a Japanese brand. And these are skincare masks, you know, face masks. And this is a really, really good brand. I really like Kose. So um, kind of interesting. I think this is probably like a refill. So I'd have to look. Yeah, I'd have to look online um, on Amazon. I don't know how much this goes for, but I'll post a link. Um, I'll post a link to all of this stuff from Amazon, but yeah, so that was the, uh, the face masks and these are, it probably has hyaluronic acid. I'm pretty sure, which is always, you know, good for your skin. Um, and I like stocking up on these because I do use them when I feel like using a, um, a mask. Um, I always want to use like the Korean beauty ones and like, not just like the cheap ones that you can get like at Dollar Tree. Um, I want some like quality ingredients. <laughs> so we got that. I just want to make sure that it's, there you go. Sorry for the glare. Um, and then I got lucky. Um, I found two of one of my favorite sunscreens. This is the Round Lab um, sunscreen. And they're both unopened. Even though this box was slightly opened, um, this one is was like pretty much sealed and these expire 2025. So, but towards the end of the year, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to use them up. If not, I'll give one to my, um, to my sister. These are legit. They may, you know, just because one is kind of off colored, I think it's because the box is a little messed up, but these are actually legit. <laughs> so got that. Um, was excited to find finally the skin 104 um, sunscreen because everybody online keeps talking about this particular one. And I went ahead and tried it. it. The box was sealed. Okay. And oh boy, now I see what everybody has, why they're raving about this stuff. Um, that's why I kind of like buying this, you know, the Korean beauty stuff at the bin store for cheap because then I'm not having to spend however much it is on Amazon. And then, yeah, I don't like it. Return it kind of thing. Um, this one, if I see more at the bin store, I'll definitely get it. If not, when I use this up, I'll purchase it from Amazon. But it has the hyalur hyaluronic acid and then the Sika. Um, a lot of the stuff that I've been seeing lately has that Sika stuff. I, I don't know exactly what the full name is, but it seems to work really well, especially for oily skin. But I love this. When I tried it on my face, man, it goes on like matte. And it is no white cast at all. So it's really, really nice. Very light weight. So yeah, I do like it. Let me pull this back. There we go. Um, I found this. This is the Haru Haru Wonder. It is a sun stick. I'm wondering, I've been wondering about this as well. Um, got it for six bucks, but look how much it already been used. So somebody returned it. But I, it's actually really nice because, um, and I will purchase it again once I. Um, I run, you know, run out of it. I'll get it on Amazon, but it's also a matte finish, kind of like the farm, uh, thank you farmer one that I have where it's almost like a powdery finish, but there's no scent. It's unscented, which is really good. So glad that I was able to find that because now I know what it's like. So I can purchase that one as well. Um, Let's see here. What else did I find? I found this tiny, oh, I put it in backwards. This tiny Hello Kitty nail cutter. Here we go. It's really, really cute. So, um, and it's really sharp. I was testing it out and I really like it. So I don't mind that I paid six bucks. At least it's pink. It's easy for me to find because I always seem to misplace my nail cutter. It's always not where I thought I'd put it. Okay. So I found this, this is not, um, not Korean, but 
because of the summer with it being, you know, with it being humid. And then when I go to the gym, um, I've been having a lot of like pimples, pimple problems on my scalp. And, you know, as much as like, I want, I try not to like scratch them, especially like with the brush, because, um, I don't know if you guys know that I, last year I had an issue where I had brushed a pimple on my scalp and it got infected to where I got a staph infection and I ended up having to go to the hospital for three days. And, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. I could have ended up with like sepsis. <laughs> so, um, I lost like, you know, my right side of my head, the hair fell out and everything it's grown back now, but I do have, I had to get surgery to have it removed. Right. Cause there was like a, uh, like a cyst or whatever. So, um, I still have a slight, you know, bald patch there where I don't think my hair is going to grow back, but that's okay because, um, that side of my head where all the hair had fallen out, had grown back even thicker and weirdly enough curly, but now it's not as curly as it was last year. And, um, yeah, it's just, now I'm just wary about like getting anywhere near a pimple on my head. So, um, but yeah, I wanted to try this because, you know, I've been using like head and shoulders and I'm almost out. So I thought, well, Let's see how this one turns out. This one is sealed still. So let me look. Because I don't know how it's going to, you know, hopefully it'll work well with my hair. Because sometimes I think the head and shoulders kind of, is it drying out my scalp? I, I mean, my hair, I can't remember. So yeah, let me smell this. Not been used, thankfully. Brand new. Oh yeah, smells really good. Smells better than the uh, head and shoulders, but that one that I have is like, I think it's like the minty one, which feels good, but I just recently got my hair cut. So it's really, really short. And, um, thankfully I don't have to use a lot of, um, of shampoo when I, you know, wash my hair. So I'll just put that here. I'm just trying to make sure everything is, uh, going to fit on screen. Okay. Still got more here. So this brand I've been seeing popping up like on Reddit and on Facebook when they talk about K, you know, K beauty, Korean beauty. It's really, really popular. The Anu, or I think that's how it's pronounced Anua. So I was able to find three items. Um, this one is the pore control cleansing oil. This one is the cleansing foam and this one is the toner. So, um, from what I've read, sometimes you should do, if you have oily skin, you should be doing like a double cleanse, um, and like using like a cleansing oil and then like a cleanser or like the, you know, cleansing foam. I tend to use like a cleansing foam in the shower and I would, you know, if I'm washing my face at the um, sink, then I tend to use that, that one. So I thought this is a good way for me to just try them out because I, actually went to Marshall's today after, um, going to bin store number one. And I saw that, um, they had, they were carrying some of these, actually they were carrying this. And it was kind of funny because it was like 16 or 19.99. And I just got this for six bucks and it's not used this one. It looks like it was just slightly used cause it's coming out. This one has not been used. Um, and yeah, so here, let me pull that out. So it's a toner you know, and it's funny because like when I was being rung up by uh, the cashier, she, she knows me because I've been going there now for like what, two and a half years. And so she was asking me about the skincare stuff because, um, she's got, what was she said? She had acne prone, oily, sensitive skin. And people have been telling her that she needs to start using K beauty stuff because all the American stuff has been like just breaking her out. And it's just, yeah, she, it, it's irritating her skin. And I told her, yeah, you definitely should try K-Beauty. Um, and I was like recommending stuff that she should try. And she was kind of like complimenting me on my, my face, you know, my complexion saying, oh, it's like, you're glowing. And I'm like, well, that's oil. <laughs> I'm not glowing. That's oil. She goes, still, you know, your complexion's fair and you're not even wearing any foundation. And she was wearing a lot of foundation, but her, she did a really good job because I thought that, you know, her skin looked flawless, but she told me she was wearing foundation anyways. Yeah. So <laughs> I went ahead and told her, you know, to look for, um, anything with skin one Oh four, uh, skin 
one oh oh four, you know, the round um, the round lab, and um, to definitely start wearing sunscreen, you know, and the, try this too as well, um, because she was also wanting to try these face masks. So she said she was going to go and get one because I told her I took. I had put all of them in my cart and then I dumped the rest at this one particular bin by the window. So she's like, oh, I'm going to go and get one. It's like, yeah. So the last thing that I'm going to show, I was so happy to find when I grabbed this, I didn't realize um, what brand it was, but I knew that this was something that I've been wanting to try. It's um, this is actually a collagen ampule uh, pad. And <laughs> thankfully, because I couldn't see, you know, where what was the name of it? There it was. MetaHeal. So a lot of people have been talking about the MetaHeal um, pads. And I've known about this brand for a long time, but now it's becoming really, really popular. They've got like several types of um, pads that you can choose from. Like there's one for acne. There's one for, I think with retinol. This one is the collagen one. So basically um, you're supposed to think, take like two pads and then just lay it onto your cheeks you know and then you know obviously rub around the rest of your face but you kind of like let your you know your face absorb um the material the the solution so um yeah and this one i think it was used too but you know i don't care um that it's not the full amount because at least i get to try it for six bucks because these go for like i think 25 dollars, and i know you can purchase it on costco um and i yeah, I think they were 25 bucks. So this is what the pad looks like. It comes like with the tweezers. I always think it's so funny that girls are like, so, oh, you're going to like, you know, get it all like, I don't know, what do you recall it? But it's like, you've already washed your hands. You're not going to like, um, get this like all messed up or whatever. I can't even think. Anyways, like, yeah, so this is how big it is. So like I said, you just lay it, you rub it around your face and then you just lay it on your cheeks to let it absorb. So, but, um, anyways, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the stuff that I got from the bin store. Um, I did see some other stuff, but I put it back cause I was kind of like, eh, I kind of want to get just the skincare stuff for now. Um, because I've been wanting to get it. And now that they have it, you know, I didn't want to pass it up. So, um, yeah. I mean, like I found like a sticker book <laughs> that I know that you could get like on Temu and, you know, AliExpress and Shein, but I wasn't willing to pay six bucks for it. If it was like on dollar day, yes, but I have really no way of going to on dollar day because I'm working. And um, then, then I go to the gym right after work. So it's kind of like go shopping or go to the gym. Well, go to the gym. So I'm just really going to have to limit myself to going only on, you know, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, um, to the bin stores. So yeah, those are the items that I got, um, from bin store number one. And like I said, I will go to bin, st bin store number two tomorrow, but I'll probably include that haul for, you know, with next Sunday's, um, video. All right, guys. So, um, Oh, I also want to say thank you to the, um, to the people that have subscribed in the last month. I'm actually rather shocked that I gained 100 new subscribers within basically, uh, a month, which is just crazy. I mean, uh, the fact that I was able to hit 500 and now I'm almost to 600. That's, that's, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. So, um, yeah, so please like and comment you know, on this video and on any of my future ones. Okay. All right. So, I got, you know, I hope you guys are going to have a great day and a great weekend. Bye.